Welcome to the African Storybook website. This video will help you to publish a translation of a storybook online. Before you do this, you will need to register for free on the website. Once you have registered, you can just log in on future occasions. Let's go through how to register. In your browser, type in the African Storybook website address www.africanstorybook.org This will take you to the home page. Click the Make tab. Click the Register tab. This will take you to the registration page where you will need to fill in your details. Here you can see that you need to add your first name, last name, and email address. Now retype the same email address again to confirm that it is correct. Create a password between 6 and 10 characters long. Now retype the same password again to confirm it. Make sure that you have written this down and put it somewhere safe. Lastly, enter in the code that you can see on your computer. In this example, it's all in capital letters, MVCCIM. It will be different for you. Once you have done all this, click Continue. Wait for an email to be sent to you. Go to your email inbox and wait for the notification to be emailed to you. Open the email message, click verify my email address. Now go back to the African Storybook website and click the login tab. Log in using the password that you used to register. Click Continue. Click the Make tab. Click the Translate tab. In this video, we are not uploading a translation template. We will be translating directly onto the website. To find a storybook that you want to translate, click on the New Translation tab. You will see a list of all the African storybook titles in all languages. Type the title of the storybook you would like to translate in the search field. In this example, we will use Disability is Not inability. You may see that there are two versions of the storybook, including an approved version with the tick. Always choose the approved version to translate. Click the block that says translate online. This will take you to a page where you will see all the translations that have already been done on this particular storybook. Check to see if someone has already translated the story into the language of your choice. In this example, Isi Zulu. If there isn't already a translation into Isi Zulu, click Yes and a new window will open, showing the storybook in English on the left, page by page, and the storybook details on the right. The name of the person logged in is listed automatically as the translator. You need to choose a language by clicking on Select a Language. In this case, we're going to choose Isi Zulu.
Now, you need to type in the title of the storybook in EC Zulu. Or, if you have already typed the EC Zulu translation in a Word document, just copy and paste your translation into the space provided. Here, I am copying and pasting the EC Zulu translations that I have from a Word document. To do this, highlight the words, for example, title of the story, press Ctrl C to copy, then to paste it, you click Ctrl V, or you can right click, copy, right click, paste. When you have filled in the information on the right hand panel, click save. You will see that the row on the top left of the window shows the translated title and summary and the cover image. Now translate each page into EC Zulu by clicking on each page and entering in the EC Zulu text for the page in the right window. Click Save after you've finished each page. When you have finished, click Preview so that you can check your translation. Go through each page carefully by moving your cursor to the very right side of the screen and clicking when you see it change from a hand to a blue arrow. When you have completed checking, click the yellow arrow at the top left hand of the screen. Click Publish. If you see a message on the right of the page, once you have clicked Publish, it means that you need to correct certain errors. In this example, it says that I have not translated all the pages. You will need to correct these errors before proceeding. Other errors might include not putting a full stop at the end of a sentence, or you may need to close inverted commas. Once you've corrected these errors, click Publish again. Congratulations! Your translation is now available on the internet.